Welcome to a Jenkins Minute. I'm Liam Newman. In this Jenkins Minute, I'll show you how to add build artifacts and test results to your Jenkins pipelines. For this example, I'm using a private fork of the Jenkins Logstash plugin. I've created a pipeline for this project, and it's succeeding, but it isn't reporting test results or giving me any build artifacts. I'll add the steps to collect those now. I've started a feature branch in which I'll make my changes. And here's my pipeline with its two stages one that runs my build script, and another that runs my test script. First, I'll add my archive artifacts step. I only want this step to be run when my build stage succeeds, so I'll add it as a post-success action for this stage. If the build stage doesn't run or doesn't succeed, artifacts won't be archived. Second, I'll add a JUnit step to publish JUnit test results. Unlike artifacts, I always want test results to be published at the end of this stage, regardless of the result of the stage. So I'll put my JUnit step in a post always action. If this stage runs, Jenkins will collect the test results. Both of these post sections belong to individual stages. We could make them apply to the pipeline as a whole, but that would give us different behavior and could be harder to manage. As usual now, I'll save my work, commit, and push the changes, and send them through a pull request. The build for this pull request will take a little while, so I'm going to skip ahead to when it completes. When I look at the details for this pull request run, Jenkins now tells me all of my tests are passing, and it has an archived artifact for this build. I'm going to skip ahead to after this pull request has been merged to master, and show you the effects of these changes on two future pull request runs. Future runs with test failures, such as pull request 3 here, will show up as unstable runs. Unstable runs will still have archived artifacts because the build stage succeeded. The JUnit test result publisher will collect the test results, give us details about them, and set the runs to unstable. Runs that fail during the build stage, such as pull request 2, will not have test results and will also not have archived artifacts. This has been a Jenkins Minute showing you how to archive artifacts and collect test results in Jenkins Pipeline.